Welcome to another episode of Essential RC. Today we are reviewing the ISDT FD200 and what this device is, is it's a battery discharger. We've all gone to the flying field, taken a bucket full of lipos, intended to fly them all, got home and realised that actually four or five, however many of your lipos are still fully charged. Now, storing them until next weekend is a really bad idea. Leaving LiPos fully charged for any period of time seriously degrades the performance of them and the life expectancy and the number of cycles. So, if you use this, it will make your LiPos last a lot longer. What this is, is essentially a feature that most chargers can do. So, uh, most chargers can discharge. If any of you use your charger to discharge, you know it takes a long time for a charger to discharge your LiPos, especially something like a 6S5000, 6S6000 or bigger, um, because the chargers just don't have the discharge capacity. They're not designed to discharge batteries. They are a battery charger. Um, they will do it, but if you ever plug in a big LiPo into a charger and try and use it, you'll notice the charger gets really hot and it takes forever and my previous charger actually decided to um, explode when uh, using it as a discharger so i veered away from that and i've moved over to this little guy it's fantastic um it discharges lipos in minutes rather than half an hour or an hour for a, a charger um so really good little bit of kit uh really simple to use even better, it actually comes with a phone app. So there's an app on the Android store and the iOS store uh, called ISDT Go. It connects with some of their newer charges that are out um, and it also connects with this little device. So I'm gonna put it on the table, show you how it works and hopefully I will be able to put my phone screen so that you can see it as well and uh, see exactly how it works. So let's go ahead and give it a go. So here we are on the bench. Uh, I've just got a little 3S pack here, just because it's convenient to move around the desk, but it will take anything from two to eight S. Um, there's two ways you can control this. Really simple. First one is you just plug the battery in, press the left-hand side button, you'll hear the fan ramp up and slow down. On the front here, it's telling me um, wipe for 3S. So I can, if this isn't a 3S pack, I could cycle through and change it to 6S um, with this little light here. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. Um, that is 7S, 5 and 2, obviously, um, and then 5 and, uh, sorry, 6 and 2 for 8S packs, or then back to 2S, 3S, etc. Left hand button just literally changes the disc just discharge current. So um, 5 amps, 10 amps, 15, 20, 25, etc. This pack, I'm gonna discharge 10 amps. If then I bring over the phone app, as you'll see, um, that information will now be replicated onto the phone once it's connected to the device. Um, so there we go, it's, dis it's connected to it. It's telling me 3S, ready to go. Um, the target voltage, which I want to discharge to. So uh, I've got it set to 3.8 volts, um, but you can actually adjust that once you get going. Um, and it will tell me how many watts, etc., and how much of the task is, is done. So you can also set preset tasks. Um, I've got one for my 6S5000 packs, which is what I mainly use this, this guy for. So, but lots of uh, information. So I'm gonna set a discharge off and you'll see what's going on. Now, if I press the start button down the bottom, you can see here I can adjust how many amps I want to discharge the battery at. I'm going to leave it at 10. I can also uh, select the cutoff voltage, so where I want to store each individual cell, um, and then obviously the amount of cells here. So I'm going to leave it on 3S. Uh, I can then press start, and uh, off it goes. It will now start to discharge the pack. So I won't make you sit here and wait. With a little bit of uh, editing magic, I will quickly speed this up so that it's uh, at the end of its discharge cycle already. So there we go, all done. Just under six minutes to discharge that battery. 6S5000s take marginally longer, maybe 10 minutes or so, but still miles faster than any charger does it. Um, one little note, it does come with XT60. 
if like me you fly with mainly xt90s there's no adapter in the box um, or if you fly bullets or any other form of connector no adapter in the box so you'll need to either do what i done make up an xt60 to 90 lead or you could buy one off the shelf ready to go plenty of places sell those so still can forgive it for not having adapters it's a brilliant little product as always, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and press the bell notification button below so that you don't miss another product review from us. Loads of new cool models and stuff coming up soon, so um, be sure to check those out. And as always, thanks from us at Essential RC, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.